coming off the San Antonio game, you guys only shot 13 free throws in that game. Tonight you guys shot 40. What did you see was the biggest difference out there going downhill more and getting in the paint? Well, that was the difference when we went downhill. You know, I thought we settled a lot in San Antonio. That's, you know, maybe from fatigue or whatever, or, or their defense. But, you know, when we go downhill and get in the paint, we're clearly uh, very good. You know, the numbers say it, all our analytical numbers say it. And so whenever we do it, it makes us a better team. That doesn't mean you're scoring in the paint. It may lead to threes. Uh, but it creates an action. And the more we do it, the better we are. Before the game, you talked about uh, just the aggressiveness of other guys being involved to get those guys aggressive. Looked like they really tried to get PG going early. Is that yeah. what you saw, sort of, with, with just them getting? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a conscious effort, you know, by them. You know, we ran the first play for him. Uh, that was me, but then after that, it was them. You know, uh, so uh, it's good. It's good when, you know, I, I think we miss those guys a lot in transition. You know. Um, and that's one of the things we talked about. Like, you got a chance to throw the head to Paul George or Kawhi Leonard. You're really smart on your part to do that. Um, that doesn't mean they're going to shoot, but they're going to create so many people coming their way that it's going to open it up for everyone. And uh, I thought we did a better job of that. I think I still counted six or seven that I thought we should have, and we didn't, and we just got to keep getting better at that. Doc, last month, Paul George said he credited his play to saying, I got new shoulders. What have you seen from this? Those new shoulders? You know, yeah, I don't know. I, I, he's just a great shooter. Uh, he's a great you know, basketball player, but his shot and the way he can get it off at his size um, with little effort, you know, as far as getting it up to the rim, you know, um, he's, he's shooting deep shots on the move, and he does it with great balance. You know, it's, it's impressive to watch. Doc, in a, in a game like this that gets out of hand somewhat early, yeah. is your focus to continue playing usual rotation because it's kind of early in the year to, for chemistry? Yeah, it's the impossible to do that. You know, uh, you do in the third quarter. You try to. Uh, we tried to go small once just to get that rotation on the floor because, you know, it's a lineup that we think may end up being one of our best lineups. We never do it. Uh, we just haven't had the chance, uh, mainly because we've you know, been limiting both of those guys' minutes. So by the time you get to do it, it's time for one of them to come out, you know, and that's why I did it early. You know, I did it at some point in the third, just to get it out there, you know, for two or three minutes, just so we get used to it. Uh, second time scoring 150 this season at home, three points away from a franchise scoring record. Does the player in you uh, ever want to just go for the jugular on that, or is it much more diplomatic? Yeah, I never know. Uh, I don't know. I, even as a player, I never, I didn't know. I never did, but if I had 50 points, I would have never known it. Um, and I never know records. I, I swear, I never, I don't know, don't want to know, don't keep account of any of that stuff. I, I know the score uh, to the most for the most part, and that's all I want to know. I just want to win the game. What did you think of how Terrence Mann did defensively today? He did pretty well. You know, he had some <laughs> mistakes, but overall, you know, I think that's going to be his calling card and his ability to see the floor. Uh, you know, we just got to keep working with him. Uh, Coach back here. Um, you know, Lewis had, I believe, seven assists in his past three or four games. Yeah. Is there more of an emphasis for him to be a playmaker now with Paul on the floor, or is it just a matter of him just playing in the offense? And it's just right Lou being Lou. I mean, Lou's smart. Uh, Lou knows when to shoot. He knows when to pass. You know, he and Paul started out their careers as point guards, you know. So they both have played that position. Uh, you know, they both are scorers, but they also know when a guy's open. Um, and, and they make the right play. Hey, Coach, you, you touched on it earlier with um, getting Paul early, an uh, early bucket, calling the play for him right off the mm -hmm. bat. Outside of in and out of timeouts, how often are you calling the plays? Or are you relying on the players to kind of run the plays that you guys have worked on in well, practice? Probably call it more now than I've done in ten years, honestly. Um, you know, just because you know the guys still don't. You know, they're still new to what we're trying to do because we haven't had a lot of practices. I find myself calling a lot of plays right now. Um, you know, my goal always is to never call a play for our guys to, to read and be able to see and call the game. Uh, we just haven't enough, had enough practices to be able to do that. That's what I meant by you know we're going to be better because, you know, as the years go on, as the year goes on, they're going to do it more and more and more. I'll do it less and less, and that will make us a better team. Thanks. Um, just what do you mean the defensive effort in the third quarter when they kind of reel it in? Um, I thought the second quarter was the best defense. You know, I thought that changed the game for us. 
uh, third quarter, I thought at the beginning we came out and wanted to trade baskets, and then we we got back to being us. You know, they're a great offensive team, and the way to play, uh, beat a great offensive team is play defense. You know, um, and I thought we did that overall. All right, guys.